what is going on you guys it's your boy zany before i get started i want to clear up the rumors i did not die irl i am still very much around but i do want to apologize for being away for so long i know i left you hanging with some tips and tricks in part one and i never delivered on part two but you know what they say better late than never so here i am with part two of emergency response liberty county <laughs> I first want to give a big shout out to the developers. This game has changed so much since I last filmed about it to the point where some of the things that I covered in my last video when talking about tips and tricks no longer apply. And let's very quickly talk about that. So one of the things that doesn't really apply anymore is the use of the letter P on your keyboard that used to tie into the emergency brake feature on the vehicle. If you press P, nothing happens. What you need to do now is engage your left shift and that will cause your vehicle to do somewhat of a drift, kind of like that, and be able to accomplish the same thing that you used to be able to do with P. The new feature is a little exaggerated if you ask me and a little harder to control, but that could just be me. For hardcore gamers, it would be a lot easier to do now because all you have to do is continue using the same hand that is already on the keyboard. And because of that, the other thing that no longer applies is using the left shift key to engage the free look camera. Now what you have to do is right click on your mouse, and move the camera all about and it still lets you move it wherever you want and however you want up down side to side and even backward and the very neat thing about it is that if you leave your camera in a very awkward position after a few seconds maybe three or four seconds it'll correct itself and go back to being right at the center of the vehicle but that's all old stuff you guys Today, not only do I want to talk about some new tips and tricks but I also want to deliver on my promise show you all the hidden locations that this awesome map has in store for you. So the first hidden location that is not really a hidden location, but a great location to hang out at if you're being chased or if you just don't want to be found or if you just want to be away from other players, is to go to the top of all these mountains. Have you ever wondered how players get there? It's very, very easy. All you have to do is exit your vehicle, and if you walk to the left of this tunnel, there is one mountain that is slightly lower than all the others. All you have to do is just keep on jumping, just like that, and eventually, we'll get to the top just like so. So that's one way, and I'm going to show you the other way to get to the very top. All right, so the other way you can get up here is a relatively neat trick. Uh, jump in the water and go toward the waterfall, and before you know it, you are going to start swimming up the waterfall. Just like that. There you go. So I am officially swimming up the waterfall. Now once you get to the very top, just jump up, and the small body of water leads to absolutely nothing. Once you get to about this point here, your character is just gonna crash and go absolutely no. But same thing, just jump, jump, same thing, just jump a couple times, and that's it. We are at the top of the mountain overlooking our city. The next hidden location I wanna share with you Right in front of you, believe it or not, this small river or canal, whatever you want to call it, can serve as a refuge instead of an obstacle when you're trying to get away. Now, you might be asking yourself, how the hell am I going to do that? Because if you jump in and do absolutely nothing, your player will automatically surface to the water and try to swim at the top of the water. But what you need to do is hold your right mouse button, then begin swimming. And we're going to zoom in here so you can see what's going on. What I have found is that your character is part fish because there is no breath meter, you don't need to resurface, you don't need to catch a breath, you can swim underwater indefinitely. And this is great because believe it or not, your character swims very, very fast underwater and I'll show you. All we're gonna do is go all the way to the bottom of the water and we're just gonna count to 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that was a very, very fast count, but we are going to let the character resurface. And just like that, I am all the way to the bridge. So you can only imagine how fast a character will swim if you hold the shift key. And I'm doing it right now just to give you an example, and I'm going to let him resurface just now. And that was much faster than those last 10 seconds I counted. So you can very easily use this body of water to make your getaway or just hide for as long as you need to in order to avoid being caught. The next hidden location I'm going to show you is right on the opposite end of this road. So on this side you have a tunnel that leads to absolutely nothing. But on this side you're going to find a barricade. And what you need to do is go to the barricade. Once you're there just park yourself 
exit the vehicle and one more time you want to enter the body of water or the canal the river whatever you want to call it go in the water you don't need to swim underwater all you have to do is just swim through it and we're going to zoom in here so you guys can see what's going on and voila you are now in the cave and within the cave there is only one path that takes you all the way to the back i know that as you enter Kind of creates the uh the illusion that there's three paths there's really only one there's a bit of an alcove but you really can't go anywhere i guess if uh you really wanted to you can hide here in this little nook and maybe no one will see you as you're running across but what you really want to do is just follow this path all the way to the back and it will get a little dark and then you'll find this somewhat of a pillar there go around it and what you can do is sort of jump against this wall here and you're going to find this little ledge here and if you zoom in it's somewhat of a little easter egg from developers with a little message that says why did you return don't come back so a great hiding spot a great spot to have your gang meetups maybe meet up with other players and the real creepy thing is that there's blood spots you guys see that there's blood spots leading all the way up to that box there or ledge that uh, that i showed you guys so very cool very awesome spot not a lot of players know about this all right so before i show you the next one i'm gonna get back in my car and i am gonna show you the entire way there because this one's very very easy to miss beginning from the tunnel we're gonna back up we're gonna get back on the main street and to our left is gonna be civilian spawn so there it is and then we're gonna continue going straight and go into the tunnel When we exit the tunnel, immediately to our right, there's going to be a bit of a landing or viewpoint. And on that landing, there's going to be three picnic tables right here. What you have to do is get out of your car, walk between the two trees. And after the two trees, there's going to be two bushes. So this is why it's very easy to miss. If you look at it from this angle, there's going to be absolutely nothing there. But we'll walk in between the two bushes, and you're going to find these two doors here. And let me zoom in here a little bit. There you go. And all you need to do is just walk straight into it. Once you walk into it, you're going to find this cool little room here. Not really sure what to call it. It can either be called a bunker, or maybe the dungeon, or maybe just like one of those old school prohibition bars. One more semi-hidden location that I myself did not know about until recently, but now it's relatively obvious is inside the barn for the longest time i thought this was it i thought it was just somewhat of a pass through with a couple stables and it wasn't until recently that i saw this ladder here and all i did was walked up to it and now i am in the second floor of the barn and again it's interesting to me that i didn't catch this earlier because i've been playing this game for a pretty long time and if you've been doing the same you know that the barn is used for a lot of meetups for a lot of planning for a lot of gang rallies and normally if there's shooting and killing and looting going on it often starts here so i'm pretty disappointed for not knowing this earlier on but now i'm really glad that i know about it and last but not least if you are coming from civilian spawn and heading toward the tunnel if you take that immediate right there's going to be another landing here and very similar to the opposite side of the map you can climb all the way up to the top of the mountains but you can do it with a lot more ease on this side and i find this side very interesting because it appears that developers maybe gave themselves some room to maybe expand the map in the future but uh as you can see this side is a lot more developed than the other side you don't even have to do any jumping to be quite honest all you have to do is kind of just follow the path all the way up and eventually you will have to jump your character will not be able to just walk up some of the mountains oh never mind there and at some point it will stop you i think it's about to stop me it goes yep, just like that but again you can see the tremendous difference from these mountains and the mountains on the other side i'm very excited to see what's going to be coming to this area because otherwise this is really just a waste of real estate so who knows maybe we'll see more stores come to the map maybe a new housing track or maybe even more buildings or services that would be pretty awesome now before i leave you zanies i'm going to give you one final tip or trick to help you out when you're playing if you want absolute and total control of your car, and I am talking about being able to shift gears, being able to shift in a reverse manually, being able to shift in a neutral manually, if you press M on your keyboard, you're going to see the shift from automatic transmission to standard transmission. And in order to make your car shift, you're going to shift up with R 
and down with F. And I'm going to very briefly show you how that works. We're going to shift into neutral and we're just going to rev the engine. And now we're going to shift into first gear and we're going to let it go. And as you can see, the car will not continue to be on first gear unless I tell it to. So now we're going to shift into second. We're going to shift third, fourth, fifth. And we're going to hold it there. And then we're going to shift into six. And that's a very awesome feature it adds that much more realism to the game though i believe that's really geared towards the players that are just really fast with the keyboard really fast on the fingertips and really know how to do about a million things at once because don't forget that l still controls your headlights h still controls your horn and then obviously if shifting up and down wasn't enough you can still use e to signal right you can still use q to signal left and then obviously don't forget that the letter g still engages your hazard lights so that does it sanies in the next video i'm going to show you everything that you can do when you play as a civilian everything you can do when you play as a police officer firefighter and even department of transportation service worker i really hope that all these videos are helping you enhance your plane and role playing within emergency response liberty county if you're new around here subscribe 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 don't forget that we are doing a robux giveaway every 1000 subscribers check out part one if you haven't done so already i'll catch you guys next time